you know, empty box uh, in Yang's change. And finally, when you have all circles here, we gradually can start to practice the eight energies. Uh, the eight energy, uh, which is uh, include, uh, uh, you know, Chinese we call Peng Li Ji An Cai Lie Zhou Kao. That means uh, ward out, yoga, press, push, and uh, pulling, grabbing, split, uh, yes. uh, shoulder, shoulder, elbow. Okay, so that's the eight energy. Okay, so from here, you can see, uh, ward out, that means we like a city wall, you know, protect your center and uh, make your owner cannot find your center, make our whole body like a big ball. So when you have good word up, our opponent try to push you, and you know you can, our opponent try to find your center, but your word up will always bring our energy to side and cannot find your center. So you have good word up, make your owner harder to tackle you, and you even don't have to use stiff energy. So if you are stiff, Actually, our opponent found where you are center. When they found your center, their energy can get into your body. When you are soft, you know, but you also have energy, stay with your owner. You're leading your opponent's energy go to many, many different uh, directions, but uh, they always cannot find your center. That's the word of how we use it. If we use a word of application, we need to combine this with the second energy. That means from here, uh, when your opponent try to push to me, uh, push to uh, uh, opponent push to me. So <coughs> if I want to use the word out. I always have to combine, grabbing, push, waste word out. So from here, uh, you know, I use word out energy. So this is uh, one of the uh, using. So use word out can from many many different ways to use it. Uh, Sometimes. Uh, the energy, if you show different, uh, uh, you know, slightly different, from outside you can say, looks the same, but inside the field is very different. So that's the reason <coughs> yin yang also talk about yin and outside, internal and external. So internal is one thing, external also can be, uh, you know, different. How you show in the outside, <coughs> actually from internal, depends on your internal, how you want to do the things. So before I show, it's like a, a word out. So this is like word out. So here, roll back, you can see from here, that's the roll back. So the roll back, that means grabbing, twisting. Then from here, touch opponent's elbow. <coughs> from here, you know, try to uh, control your opponent's elbow. So that's the roll back meaning. And also, go back, give the meeting from here. You can see our owner coming, elbow striking to me, deflecting. So from here, uh, rolling back to my opponent. So this is uh, about the roll back. And you can use uh, many, many different ways for the, uh, for the roll back. And here, you can see, uh, you know, uh, come, uh, you know, squeeze. Uh, Give pressure on your opponent means the space is too small. Uh, I want to have more space. Okay, so for example, uh, when my opponent too close to me, I don't want them close to me, I want them you know, go away, so you press. So sometimes when we are too close, you press, 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 you know, give more space to yourself. So that's the press. So here, when we practice in Tai Chi Chan, the press is a little bit different. So often we use uh, two arms as a press. Means one squeeze, the other add the push energy together. So squeeze, uh, push, then you know, give the together combining energy to your opponent. So this is about press. So the press also have many different ways to use it, okay? Uh, for the defense, opponent coming to your push, so you just use a pressing and make your owner, you know, cannot really come to you. So the press also can be used as a defense. Bring your opponents <coughs> to side. 
but also you can use it as an application. So from here, you know, touched in here, that control the opponent here, then you know, left arm touch your forearm, and the left push <coughs> from here, you know, try to do, you know, pressing your opponent out. And also, sometimes we use a single arm. So single arm, you know, from here, you know, bring your opponent in and out, in, out. This is a, like, you know, a curve. When we want to move forward, we always go back, back to forward. So this is also like yin and yang. So everything, you know, in Tai Chi Chuan is talk about yin yang. You want explosion, you need storage. Storage, then you know, <coughs> explosion out. Mm -hmm. So you cannot out, always out, that will not work. Okay, so yin to yang, yang to yin. After explosion, next, you yielding, okay, neutralize. After neutralize, then you go, explosion and go. Again, so it's like water wave, up and down, up and down. And when we tack this together with our opponent, also have this kind of feeling. You can see, uh, you can see here, uh, opponent forward, back, back, forward. So you can see back, forward, is like a water wave, uh, back, forward, up. Go down. So it's always yin yang key change. Okay, so this is about the push yang. So finally, you know, after actually eight energy, it's quite a lot. If I talk everyone, probably take another hour. Okay, so <laughs> you know, uh, just uh, simply go through it. Okay, so from here, after we did the single arm, uh, I mean, fixed stop push hands. Then gradually we can start uh, moving because when you are practice, uh, you know, real time, extra time, uh, if opponent there, they will not always fix the stop, uh, you know, practice with you. They probably move. So you, we also have to practice something moving. So we first move with a sequence. Okay, you, you can see from here, move, move, move. Okay, so we moving. Footwork. See, uh, doesn't matter how we move, uh, you can feel when we move, it's moving with our corner together. And uh, we are not uh, just moving, our corner coming, so that it's not moving around. So when we are moving, we still want to stay in touch with your opponent, means we still want to feel your opponent, understand your opponent, and uh, to know what your, op op your opponent can do uh, for the next. So that's the reason we still feel similar as we are not moving. Even our footwork move, but you know, upper part, we are still uh, staying, uh, you know, in touch with your opponent. So, all we practice in fixed stuff, we can all use yin to, you know, here in the moving footwork. So all we uh, practiced uh, uh, before, we use to next level. Okay, so here you can see footwork. We have a strict stuff. Then you know we also can practice cross footwork. Cross footwork also can be straight. And straight can be changed. And finally, we can do is like footwork, doesn't matter. All matter is. See how you connect me or how I connect you. Then finally, you know, the arm movement, you can stay in touch. You can stay sometimes without touch. And however, <laughs> <laughs> Thank you.
motion to make you have good position and make your opponent have bad position and uh, uh, you know to make it uh, you know your technique works. So this is about pushing. Okay. So, thank you.